Today's topic is strabismus. Strabismus is an eye condition that involves any misalignment of the eyes. In strabismus, the eyes do not align simultaneously when looking at an object under normal condition. If an individual has strabismus, one eye looks directly at the object that is being viewed, while the other eye may look in or out or turn up or down. The misalignment can occur at all times, constant, or only sometimes intermittent, such as during stressful situations or illness. Strabismus affects both children and adults. Some people are born with the condition and it can progress into their adult years. Eye misalignment can result in a lazy eye, amblyopia, or loss of depth perception if present during a large part of childhood. Strabismus with an onset during adulthood can result in double vision and may suggest the presence of a serious underlying health condition. There are many types of strabismus, and they are most commonly described by the direction of the eye misalignment. Common types are esotropia, hypertropia, and exotropia. Esotropia is an inward turning of the eye. It is also called cross-eyed. Hypertropia is used to describe vertical misalignment, where the abnormal eye is higher than the normal eye. In exotropia, it is an outward turning of the eye. Strabismus can also be unilateral, affecting the same eyes, or may be alternating. The two eyes may take turns being misaligned. Causes Muscle dysfunction Trauma Infections Farsightedness Genetics Problems in the brain Stroke or vascular problem in adults Factors associated with an increased risk of lazy eye include Premature birth A family history of strabismus Developmental disabilities such as Down syndrome or cerebral palsy Symptoms Misalignment of the eyes Double vision Eye strain Headaches Uncoordinated eye movement Inability to read comfortably Fatigue when reading Unstable vision An emotional disorder such as anxiety or emotional stress Diagnosis and treatment Diagnosis Strabismus can be diagnosed through a comprehensive eye exam. The doctor will view the medical history of the patient and may ask questions about symptoms. Visual acuity test is carried out to determine changes in vision and clarity of sight at both short and long distance. This means that a measure of visual acuity will be used to assess how much vision is being affected. Normal visual acuity is 20-20. Retinal exam to observe the physical structure of the eye to rule out any eye disease that may be contributing to your condition. Refraction, used to determine the degree of refractive error. This is useful in determining the appropriate lens power needed to compensate for such refractive error. Alignment and focusing testing, to assess movement, focus, and how well the eyes work together. This testing looks for problems that may make it hard for you to use both eyes simultaneously. Treatment, various treatment options exist to improve eye alignment and coordination. The condition is usually treated with a combination of eyeglasses, vision therapy, and surgery depending on the underlying factor for misalignment. Early treatment of strabismus in children may reduce the chance of developing lazy eye and depth perception problems. Eyeglasses or contact lenses may be the only treatment needed for some patients. Vision therapy such as eye exercises can help improve eye condition and eye focusing. It trains the eyes and brain to work more effectively together. Eye muscle surgery can change the position and length of one or more muscles around the eye so they appear straight. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.